Me? And uh, joining me to provide the music and the purpose uh, for this performance is uh, my maestre of capoeira, maestre recruta. So, uh, please bear with me because I have a reason for this besides, uh, you know, I, I want to do my dance for you guys. Um, Me uh, Mestre Hikruta, along with a whole generation of dancers, uh, represent for me a really important time period in the Bay Area uh, for club dance culture. And um, I mean, we, I can't necessarily definitively say we invented anything because I just haven't done enough digging, really. Um, but I can say that the journey that I've been on as a, as a club dancer and also as a, just a, a dance artist, a practitioner, a, a student of, of capoeira, um, I've learned quite a bit about what gave birth to the lineage of people that influenced me here in the clubs of Oakland, of San Francisco, of, of the East Bay, and San Jose, and various other shady venues uh, throughout interesting places that will go unnamed. Um, hey, Kruta, Mestre, uh, and, and his, his dancers were influenced by various other dancers before him, and in my research and in my time learning and just uh, really learning by proximity and learning by their energy and their movement, I came to find out that there was a tremendous amount of foundation and inspiration and movement along with really the social uh, energy of the Brazilian martial arts capoeira deeply rooted here in the Bay culture if that can be so deep because it's some decades. So um, I don't want to overstep my boundaries like I know everything because I don't. But it's so important to me, not because of my, my love for the art form, the Afro-Brazilian art form, but because of the way that it influenced the people that influenced me to dance. And for whatever it's worth, the way that I dance, whoever it may influence in the future. And I want to recognize that culture and, uh, and be able to present it in some kind of particular way. Now, the reason why I'm able to do that is because of the people who raised me in this club culture. They allow me to have the freedom to be who I am as an artist and who I am as just a human, as crazy as that sounds. They allow me to be contemporary. They allow me to explore capoeira in the club. They allow me to dance in the hada, which is kind of like the capoeira's version of the cipher. They allow me to explore these things without sacrificing any bit of importance and culture and the foundation that really as our mestre and uh, maestra and other maestres will say that it's really about capoeira creating a better humanity and tying this together and I think that the dance culture and the similarities of the club culture I grew up in here in the Bay have created a better humanity and a better culture and those that partake in it know exactly what I'm saying because the relationships you have built and the, and the, and the, uh, the inspiration that you have achieved. So this is the context because it's going to be weird right now in landscape to what we just saw. Amplified sound with interesting sound design, club music and big boom, bappity boom, you know, and the house of energy and their energy, right? I can't compete with that. So what, uh, I'm so been, uh, I'm fortunate that Master Hikruta has uh, agreed to do this, such an important figure in my life. Um, um, he's going to play a song that's in, uh, in the style of something traditional from the lineage of Capoeira that we come from, from Master Bimba, uh, by way of Master Colion, Master Sueli, and Master Han. Um, 
it's something that uh, I'm not going to give you all the details because I probably don't have them explained out correctly and also it just might shoot over your head. But he's going to play a traditional rhythm with uh, an introduction that is going to call me to the dance floor uh, and he's going to sing a song. And this song is an original song that he has written in the style, in the in the in the style of Master Bimba, in this format, in this tradition. And the reason why I asked him to do this and for me to dance to this is because I felt that was a way that I could show a part of my barrier culture. And it's gonna be interesting because it's the first time I'm doing it. So. This song is called Gay Te Fomi, which translates to Who is Hungry? And uh, there's a call and response aspect, and he'll say things like Vaiko Man, and uh, that means like go eat. So when you say something like Gay Te Fomi Vaiko Man, it means like who's hungry will eat. And the reason that I know of the reason why he wrote that is because in the game of Capoeira, you have to be hungry and get it if you want to experience it, if you want to be a part of what we would say is the ashe, and in the club we would say it's the vibe. If you're not hungry, you're not gonna get anywhere. You gotta be after it. And it's so simple, but so impactful and so powerful. And it's, I think it's such a great metaphor, it's a great simile, and all those other grammatical things that I don't know about. It's, I could, if somebody could exp, you know, give me more color to my English, it would be great. So, Great Day For Me by Mr. Hekruta. And I hope I won't screw it up. This is acoustic, so please, if we can have your attention in silence. Vai comer o que tem fome, 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 vai comer o que tem fome,